We are doing Eureka Math, Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 1. Our objectives today are, I can understand that equal groups are multiplication. I can write repeated addition sentences and its equivalent multiplication equation. Okay, so we're going to start with our application problem. We'll use the read, draw, write, write method. So, there are 83 girls and 76 boys in the third grade. How many total students are in the third grade? So we need to circle our key information. 83, 76. Our question is how many total students are in the third grade? So I'm underlining that. So we make sure that we answer that question before we are finished with this problem. And we need to find a word that is going to tell us which operation we're going to use. Operation would be adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So here I see the word total. And total means you're going to have all of it. You have to put it all together. So we're going to add, total tells us to add. Now we have to draw, um, we have to draw this problem out. So we have 83, so I'm gonna draw tens and ones. So I see the eight in the tens place. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three in the ones place, one, two, three. And then I have seven in the tens place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And six in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if we could make a 10, we would, but we have three plus six only equals nine. So we'll put our nine here. And then we'll count out our tens so we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. So we'll write 150 plus 9 equals 159. We also could have solved it vertically. So we can write 83 plus 76. And then we'll just go straight down starting in the right in the ones column. So three plus six equals nine. Eight plus seven equals 15. So we have 159. So we solved it two different ways, getting the same answer. Now part of our redraw write write is that we also need to write a sentence. We have done the writing of an equation, but now we need to answer this sentence. So it says, how many total students are in the third grade? Okay, so there are 159 total students in the third grade. Okay, we've done all our redraw right, right. Okay, we're going to go over to our problem set and do a couple problems there. Okay, so our directions say, fill in the blanks to make true statements. Okay, so we're doing repeated addition. And you can see we have a group of five, another group of five, and another group of five. So we have three groups of five. So it's repeated, and they want us to add. So three groups of five, equals, well, we can count by fives. Five, 10, 15. So we know that three groups of five equals 15. And that's the same as saying three fives equals 15. 
And we have three, that's the number of groups, and five in each group. So three times five equals 15. Okay, so we're gonna skip down to another type of problem here. It's similar, but you, we have to fill in this uh, repeated addition equation. So we have our lemons, we have four in each group. So we're going to put four on each of these lines. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six groups. So we have to have six fours. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have four in each group and we have six groups. So if we count by fours, we'll get our answer. So we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. Okay, so we have six groups of four in each group and that will equal 24. Then we have six groups and four in each group. So we'll write six times four, and then we counted that out to equal 24. So six times four equals 24. Okay. So we will go to the next page of our problem set. It says, the picture below shows two groups of apples. Does the picture show two times three? Explain why or why not. Okay, well we do have two groups, but we need to have three in each group. So we have three in this group, but we don't have three in this group. So I'm gonna say no, it, does not show two times three because there is one group of three and the other group has two. They are not equal groups. Okay, so it says draw a picture to show two times three equals six. So in Eureka Math, the first number in your multiplication equation is going to be your number of groups. So we need to have two groups and they want three in each group. So I'm just gonna make X's. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we have two groups with three in each group so that will equal six. We could even count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's our picture to show two times three equals six. Okay, we have another word problem here. So we have to do our redraw write right method. It says Caroline, Brian, and Marta share a box of chocolates. They each get the same amount. Circle the chocolates below to show three groups of four. Then write a repeated addition sentence and a multiplication sentence to represent the picture. Okay, so they want us to show three groups of four. Okay, so we need four in each group. So I have four here. And let's see, I see 
four here and four here. So we have three groups and there are four in each group. So we need to write a repeated addition sentence. So we have to do how many are in each group is four plus four plus four equals remember we can count by fours so we have four eight twelve okay and a multiplication sentence so we have three groups times four in each group so three times four equals twelve okay so then you have your exit ticket, which I'm not gonna do the exit ticket with you because your teacher might wanna see if you understand it. So I will help read it though. We have number one, the picture below shows four groups of two slices of watermelon. Fill in the blanks to make true repeated addition and multiplication sentences that represent the picture. Okay, so you, they start you off with a two. So remember, you're gonna have to put your twos where they belong and you can skip count by twos and put your answer there. And then remember we have four groups of how many in each group equals your total number. Okay. And then it says draw a picture to show three plus three plus three equals nine. Then write a multiplication sentence to represent the picture. Okay, so you know there are going to be three in each group and then you see one, two, three. So you'll need three groups of three each. Okay, and you'll have to write a multiplication sentence for this. Okay? So, I hope that helped.